What's happening? Welcome to my amazing news show. This is where I find great music news. If I have it on paper, say forget it. Type it on my computer. Procrastinate. Talk about the original subject. Anyways, today's knowledge subject, dudes and dudettes, is Russians controlling people's thoughts with amazing fake social media. We'll be right back after the break. Hey, a bodacious beast. For the last few years, at the peak of social media, I have noticed a disturbing trend with the reputation of credible news sources. And that for years have worked really, really hard to keep the truth with the general public in order to keep their ratings high. However, news and credible sources got hit with believable stories that were false. The amount of people that used these super sites known as Facebook and Twitter were enormous. So if you put this, if you put it in this way, you have two sets of people. You have believers and non-believers. The believers would fuel the false propaganda by sharing it with everyone they knew, and the non-believers would try and stop it by calling a fake. However, if the news started to fail, the Russian bots would trigger the comments that backed that back the news fact that was being attacked. Let's, let's make this into a perfect example. Let's say Russian writers make a story that there's a top secret experiment to make money grow on trees. The story is written and published and even paid to be advertised given your face your fake book fake book Facebook advertising. But now the news starts growing around the people and people are taking it as a joke and the news gets more and more hits and it ages. People have commented on it and tag, they're also tagged into the post. Now, the believers have been pinned by the botting programs for replies. The non-believers will be shoved to the bottom as soon as the truth bot spammed the believers' thread with positive news, or false positive news. This will take many of the non-believers into the direction of the believers, and there you go, the most powerful cycle of deception that anyone can master. If you look how, if you look at how creative this false this false information is being delivered as the form of tabloid news, this is targeted at one particular group of people that can spread interesting stories. It's just like a movie when you have a gossiping grandma talking about everything and anyone. Some of the gossip is false, and that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get it into those type of people. However, over recent times, Facebook and news media are losing credibility as people are losing trust over the sources of disinformation. So far as we know it, Russia, China, and possibly North Korea are all fabricating stories so believable that even if I went to go and fact check the information, I can actually come up with an article telling me the false truth. And even in, I mean, it's a legitimate website. So far as I see it, anti-vaxxers, elections, flat earthers, and other fake, fake fact trends are spawned by articles with really, really bad grammar and punctuation on these social media sites. This is really troubling as I'm seeing our society becoming less educated over how to find the truth instead of accepting lies. This is, this is the type of media that will divide many countries rather quickly, causing civil wars and possibly communist country takeovers. Activists are pushing for laws that are hurting others and not even helping them even though they think it's for the best. This is all a game, and the people on the internet are being used as pawns. 
many people don't know what to believe anymore and are beginning to stop listening to what is happening around them and stop believing even the stuff that is true. I am wondering if a country can get so powerful in manipulating the news media, it could become powerful enough to actually change the laws or disband a nation. Pretty scary thought that people are actually so easily fooled today. Well, what do you guys think about it? Do you actually believe that there's so much false propaganda or so much fake news out there that's actually changing the way people are thinking? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it. If there's a really good uh, response to it, I may do a video on it, and I'll give you a credit for it at the end of another video. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Slam that like button. Share with your friends. Also subscribe to the second channel for weekly vlog updates. Oh, well, your bodacious beast, I'm off to the gym. I can't get any younger sitting down. Gotta keep on surfing.